All right, we're here with our friend Greg Schaefer. Uh, we're in the Powder River Basin in Wyoming. I have to say, not the easiest place to get to, but arguably one of the most important places for our country's electricity. Greg, why is that? This is really, truly a national, tr national resource and treasure for the United States. We're in the Powder River Basin, which has um, probably 200 to 250 years supply worth of coal left. So it'll be around through my lifetime and your lifetime and my, my kids' lifetime. My kids and lifetime. Their... Um, the basin itself is about 110 miles from north to south and about 70 miles from east to west, and it's all coal. It's all done on surface. All done on the surface. All right, Greg, you're getting ready to take us around. We want to see the world's largest drag line. Oh, we want you're going to love that. We want to see, does coal come out of the ground in little pieces or big chunks? We, we had a debate on the car on the way out here. So show us all that. And we also want to see any land that has been reclaimed. I'm assuming that you guys have a big reclamation uh, project going on here. We want to see all of it. Let's go see it. Let's see it. All right. I'm not the world's strongest man, but that's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. I don't care who you are, that's heavy. How much does this hold? This holds 160 cubic yards of material, which would be 260, maybe 280 tons at any one time. Now that's efficiency. All right, so we're watching them load up the trains here. Coal from this silo that goes in the trains that come through here, where does it go throughout this country? We ship coal out of this particular mine to 23 different states ranging from the Midwest clear back into the eastern United States. So we're providing our economy throughout the United States with low cost power. And our end product is going out the gate right here in this rail car. And, the, and it's being loaded on the railroad and we'll take it clear across the United States to a power plant. And what do they produce? Low cost electricity that helps fuel our economy. And then when you're done, you reclaim the land. It's lake behind us. We built it. You built it. We built it. This is part of our reclaim feature. Um, and you can see behind behind the lake, that's all reclaimed land as well. But this wasn't always a lake, and this no, what, this the, used to be coal and we mined it. So what we've already seen used to occur right here. Correct. We're proud of the, the fact that we provide electricity, low cost electricity, for people throughout the Midwest and the Eastern United States. But ultimately, we're going to be judged on, on on how we leave the land behind. And I'm, I'm going to be proud to have my grandson came out, come out and say, we used to mine this area right here. This is what we leave, left for your generation. I'm pretty proud of this right here. This is, uh, I'd like to go fishing. We're getting ready to head off down the road. But Greg, thank you for taking You're the welcome. time. Why don't you take us back to where we're going? And uh, maybe next time I'm back, I'll bring my fishing poles. Let's plan on it. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. So much like this load of coal, we're getting ready to head out of the Powder River Basin. Keep in mind that 40% of the coal used to produce electricity comes from where we're standing. Those are the facts.